It's one of those days. It's Friday the 22nd of June. No, the 2nd. Friday the 22nd of June. 1307 on this beautiful June summery day. And that can mean one thing. And one thing only. That it's time for today's Bisquiz and Biscuit Review with me. It's your host... Edward C. Lewis. He's a ghostly Ed today. How are you doing, everybody? What are you doing? Good to see Moosepan. <laughs> Good to see Commander Solm. Good to see Silkner. Cosmogr. Commander Brugger. Sigisterders. And Merzepir. And it's one of those days again. It's a spooky day. But apparently it's not as well. I don't know. What's today's special? I'm Edward Lewis and I've been away for a while. And this is the first stream back for quite some time here over at the Biscuit Review channel. That's right. We're now rebranding. Rebranding to the Biscuit Review channel. It's all about biscuit reviews and all about bis quizzes. No more gaming nonsense. We're IRL. That means in ready long time. In ready long time. It means in I'm ready... I'm ready, long time. IRL, uh, Silkinet's getting ready for work, Jack Little, Jester D, Commander Benkai, Muzipan, Commander Silmar, Cosmogra, Commander Benkai, Muzipan again, Commander NSR2, ugh, the honey thief. All of the best ones are not over there, not over there, not down there, right here. All of them are best here. I'm excited. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling positive. I'm feeling tired. I'm feeling exhausted. I'm feeling awful. I'm feeling aggravated. I'm feeling exasperated. I'm feeling challenged. I'm feeling challenging. I'm feeling the challenger. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling zazzy. I'm feeling jazzy. I'm feeling sassy. I'm feeling stupendous, uh, awkward, uh, anxious, elevated. Propositional, uh, <laughs> secondary, first place, gold winning, genius. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling right now. So I'm, 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 I'm taking all of these things, I'm adding them into one hot pie, a cake, may you may say, and I'm going to eat it all up. But I need someone to help me eat all of that cake, and that person can be only one other man. Uh, and let me. Uh, send a, a, a quick psych psychological, uh, psychokinetic reading to him. Um, so I'll do that now. I think he's receiving the message. Are you receiving the message? Is he there? Uh, yes, yes. I'm loud and clear. Oh, I used all message of the, received. I used the last of my remaining kinetic energy to... Um, to, to welcome you to the to this to the screen. Um, hi. Howdy. How are you? I don't know what I don't. I've got no idea. Apparently, I've gone a bit mad. <laughs> so, Ed, did you take drugs? No. I'm I'm just uh, tired, but also excited to be here on the stream doing these things uh, with you guys. So we'll get simple. We'll get straightforward in a minute. We'll do the the bis quiz, of course, because that's what today's all about. It's about bis quizzing. I have to do a tweet to celebrate the arrival of the bis quiz. Oh, did I just do that? Oh, did I do that already? Gosh, it's been a a long day already. Um. It's been very busy. It's been a busy couple of weeks. Let's talk about the last couple of weeks that I've had, uh, that we've all had. I'd love to hear what everyone's been up to because I have... Let's have a look. Did I... We're back on... No, did I do a tweet, everyone? Also, the correct terms are telepathy and psychopotential. Thank you, the honey thief. These, this is correct information. Did I do a tweet? Let's have a look. On my 11.6 thousand tweets. Uh, no, I haven't done a tweet yet. I'll do that right now while... while uh, while you wait for me, is that's okay, but I hope everyone doesn't mind. Uh, while we're waiting for that, can everybody pick a special, please? Today's special, the special board is considerably empty. Um, Peter didn't do the work again. Peter! Peter! Never, never doing it. 
Uh, so, so what's been happening? Uh, what's the special of the day? Let me know and we'll put it up on the board. Uh, Alright, so... Gone, a bit mad, and gone live. Twitch.tv forward slash Edward C. Lewis. Gone a bit mad and gone live. Uh, nearly ready for business. So have you been... Sorry, Walter. How are you, WNL? Everyone say hello to WNL. How have you been? What have you been up to these last few weeks? We've not seen you for ages. No, well, it's, it's been three weeks. I think we, we originally scheduled fastest things for the, the 8th of June. Uh, and it's now the 22nd. So, yeah, it's been three weeks. Gosh. I'm on crutches. What? I'm on crutches. Oh, why have you not told me? Um, I'm joking. I, I'm, I'm pretending as if I don't know that you're on crutches. But that, for, for yeah. the sake of the of the audience, for the viewing public. What? My, my, my friend said, hey, why don't we go up and we want AFC File. They're a local football team. And uh, they sponsor this over 50s football. And we thought, oh, that'll be fun. And within 15 minutes, I was at the Blackpool Vic being x-rayed. Oh, um, Vicious old men trying to relive their youth. Um, is that you or everybody else? <laughs> that was everybody else. I zigged when I should have zagged, and uh, oh, well, the aspect the was rather issue. unforgiving. The classic issue of the zig versus the zag. <laughs> but but I, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, and how long do they think that you're going to have to be on crutches for? Well, I, I can actually wait bear now, um, but... Uh, <laughs> It could be messed up for like three months, and who knows? I might have a sort of a second kneecap underneath the original kneecap for quite a while. I'm sorry to hear about that. But it's it's black and blue all the way to the foot. Does that mean no, foot, no more football for you? Uh, yeah, cut off in my prime. Were you th <laughs> were you was it, were you taking a dive for that penalty? I come out of Benkai. No, I, I, wow, I, I was doing the really usual. I was. Penalty. I was playing right back, you know, they, they said, play right back, right back. And I went back there, okay, and I was defending. And this guy came and, well, I tried to take the ball from him and I ran full tilt in, uh, slipped, it was my own fault entirely, and went skidding along the AstroTurf about four feet on my knee. I remember it being... <sighs> AstroTurf is not giving. No, I remember the, the more, I remember the hit, getting that message when I was in LA from Helen, your wife, and it said, uh, just so you know, He's okay, but he's hurt his knee. And he's in hospital. I was like, oh, fuck. I was in America, like, oh, it's 4 a.m. going, oh, oh, no. I think I, my reply was just, uh, <laughs> just like, uh, how do I emotionally deal with this right now? Those were my words exactly when it happened, yes. Yeah, uh, it was more of a, uh, I imagine. I would like to have heard the scream. That sounds like a really horrible thing to say. I'd just be interested to know what kind of painful, because uh, you're quite, a, you're quite a, you like to be dramatic, don't you? You like, you like to, to be theatrical. I'd be interested to hear what your, uh, your... There, there there wasn't really that much pain because it, it sort of messed up the nerves as well and I can't feel anything at all on, on the top of my knee. But I knew because of the swelling that... Well, because I'm on these, these blood thinners things for my heart, you know, so, hey, um, it doesn't coagulate. So I had to get into the hospital, yeah. Hey, look at this. Look at, I want to read some things from the chat for you because it's really, really uh, important. We have, hi, WNL. And then, oh no, from Silmar. And then, WNL, are you okay? Says the honey thief. And then, get well soon from Commander Nassau 2. Benkai says, WNL really wanted the penalty, which which I also read out, which I shouldn't have done. Oh, frowny face. Walter, says Jack Little with a look, little crying, crying face. Uh, and that's why you're not playing in the World Cup. It's the injury. You're not playing for the US team. What are the US team's chances this year? Uh, well, nil because they're not there. Well, that shows uh, how got... much attention I'm paying to the football. <laughs> they got beat out at, at the, uh, the earlier stage. Oh, dear. People, well, like, people like Mexico put them in their place, as, as Mexico did with Germany. Jack Little says something inappropriate. Remember, this is a family-friendly stream, but I'm going to read it anyway. Well, if <laughs> I can't be responsible for what I read out. Well, if Walter can't feel his knee, then we'll have to feel it for him, which is a strange thing to say. But it's nice to know that there are people here who are supportive in their own strange little ways. But anyway, we have 38 people here, and you know what that means, don't you? That means that we are able to begin today's this this quiz. That's the one. Thank you. Uh, so let's do it. I'm apparently playing Jurassic World Evolution. I'm definitely not. I'm going to refresh that page to see if it's updated. This game is 31. It's gone down to 31. I don't know what's happening. Uh, Edward Lewis is playing IRL. I really like it. Uh, 31's enough people. Let's do this. Uh, so, the 31 best ones are here. Okay. I'm We've gonna, got lots here, yeah. yeah. That's probably, good. I should probably stream more. You're very quiet. I, look, 
I, uh, this is a weird thing. Is it? Uh, this stupid setup. It says, like, I'm different depending on... They, that might be slightly louder now. Um, I can turn up the gain a little bit to see if I'm even louder and clearer. Let's see if that's better. Or noisy, I don't know. I think we're taking this too seriously, people. No, you're not. All right, what is, if you've just turned up here today and you don't know what this is and you've never been here before, first of all, hello, and thank you so much for joining us. And if you would like to click that follow button, please, that'd be fantastic because I am entirely driven uh, by how many, uh, I just need a bit of ego inflating. Also, nobody has ever, um, nobody has told me what today's special should be about though. So we need more of that. So anyway, you set up the quiz and I will wait. Okay? I'm ready. <laughs> you did win one a couple of weeks ago, didn't you? Yeah. Um, you know, which, it, it, it's gone to your head, correct? Uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm completely, the last one, I'm currently the reigning champion of the BIS, of the BIS quiz. We'll, we'll see about today though. It's, it's all about fastest things. That's what people decided on. So, um, well, it, uh, for the most part, uh, yeah, I've, I've gone all over the show again, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, we have 10 questions. And yeah, for those of you who are new to this game, uh, basically, Ed will get rid of the, uh, the chat stream as far as he's concerned. He won't be able to see them. I'll be able to see you. I'll take your first three answers. If there's consensus with the first three answers, that's it. If there isn't, then I'll just go with the first answer. Okay, and then I'll ask Edward for his answer. We'll uh, compare as we go through ten questions. Find out who's today champion. Today's champion will be me. <laughs> that's that's fighting talk. Yeah, it's fighting talk, isn't it? I just believe it. I feel, I feel good. I feel positive. I feel ready. I feel like I'm rocking and rolling. And I'll, yeah, and, uh, yeah, etc. Hold on. I think I've got. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Today's special's ready. It is football. Because everyone's liking the football at the moment, aren't they? Everyone's really enjoying the football. All right, sorry. Okay, so is it time for the quiz then? <laughs> An American football, I like that, yes. Uh, yeah. Mutiny is today's subject. Yeah, look, Ed's 38, you lot. I love you all so dearly, and genuinely, I heard that at LaveCon 2018, that there was a mutiny, and somebody called Wendy, somebody called Stephen Kirby decided to usurp my throne, literally at LaveCon, sit on my throne for the Ed's 38 picture and started calling it Wendy's 37. Well, I'll let you know that I'm not, I've not taken it lightly. I've not forgotten it. Although I'm letting it pass for now, I've written it down a thousand times all over the walls in permanent marker at, around Stephen Kirby's desk. And he eventually will strike, and you'll never know it's coming. But when it happens, it will be fierce, and it will be reasonable, and it will be tender. <laughs> okay, could you do me a favor? Could you push your screen? Could you pull it towards you just ever so slightly? Just ever so slightly, just grab. Just, 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 just a little bit more. As in, like, tilt the screen towards you. Just, just tilt. Just tilt it. There you go. So, yep, 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 yep. Sit back. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I haven't really drawn over anything, and I won't really be angry at Steve. I love Steve. All right, so what's going on? What, what do we do now? Do I, is it time for me to go? Bye, chat. I love you so much. Let's yes, do a you quiz. Yes, you the chat stream. You. Good times. It's Looking time for it. question number one, Good. all about fast and swift things. Okay. Right, here we go. Question number one. Mm. Reaching speeds of 110 kilometers per hour, this is the fastest land mammal on Earth. Okay, we're talking about when it's at full tilt, reaching speeds of up to 110 kilometers per hour. It's the fastest land mammal. I have their answer. All right, I believe it to be, uh, it's, okay. Either that, that one that's really fun that you can, there's a big bird, but that, is that a mammal? Anyway, uh, I imagine that it is a cheetah. A cheetah, yes. Uh, yeah, no cheating on this quiz, but yes, you're absolutely correct. It is the cheetah. Very yes. good dad joke. Uh, yes, you've, you've come to expect them, I'm sure. Yes. Exactly. Okay, 
Cheetah was their answer as well, so it is one point apiece. Well, Everybody, well. nice even, Stephen, after one. It's question number two. I want to know who holds the world record of 9.58 seconds for running the 100 meters. Who is the current record holder? 9.58 seconds for running the 100 meters. I believe that was my, that's, by the way, that's my thinking sound. Oh. I have their answer. Is it, is it this guy? Sorry, is that how he does it? You can't see, is it Usain Bolt? It is Usain Bolt, yes. Uh, yeah, the Bolt, that's it. Okay, hey, and that was their answer as well. Great. You're all doing very well. What did Chris Akabusu so, do? Ooh, 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 ooh. Other than that. Chris Akabusu. Question number three. What did Chris Akabusu do? Are you ready? You can't hear me, can you? Chris Akabusi. Do what did he do? What did he boxer? do? Chris Akabusi. Um, no, no, he was an athlete. Bitch, what, 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 but I can't remember what... Um, sprinter? What, um, Hop, skip, jump? Yeah, of, so, of some description. Yes. I can't remember it was like uh, 200 meters or 400 or... One of, one of, one of, one of the lower ones, yeah. Okay. I remember he uh, was also in relays and things like that. Cool. Chris Akabusi. You're thinking Chris... Um, the other Chris. Chris. Who was the... Um... The boxer. I don't know. Who used to wear very dapper suits and talk with a slight lisp. Uh, Chris Eubank. Chris Eubank. I am the world record holder of remembering Chris's. Sorry, Gary, next, next, next we one. Can, we can do, we can, yeah, we could do a round on Chris's at some Chris's. point. Question number three. Question number three, a bit of a multiple guess, okay? You're both on perfection right now with two points apiece. I'd like to know which is the fastest of the following. A red-tailed hawk diving on prey, a World War I sop with camel in full flight, or the fastest tennis serve ever recorded. Which one's the fastest of those three? A red-tailed hawk diving on prey, a World War I sop with camel in full flight, or the fastest tennis serve ever recorded. Ooh. I'm not Googling it, by the way. I'm doing edits live. Um... Hmm. I have their answer. I don't know, you know. Uh... One more time. It's either a red-tailed hawk that's diving on prey, a World War One sop with camel in full flight, or the fastest tennis serve ever recorded. Let's go for the tennis serve. Uh... You're going with the tennis. Well, I can tell you right now that the red-tailed hawk achieves speeds of about 120 miles per hour. Yeah. The sop with camel can get up to about 113 miles per hour. And the fastest recorded tennis serve ever, well, it was delivered by Australian Samuel Groth, or Groth, in 2012, and it was 163.7 yeah. miles per hour. Yeah. So it is the tennis serve, yes. Great. Um, and they got it right as well, three Excellent. apiece. I can't get anybody uh, flummoxed yet. Okay, question four then. Ain't nobody been flummoxed yet. Flummoxed yet. Question number four. And four, again, is a multiple guess. So I'll give you the right answer and a couple of wrong ones. You decide which. Okay. Seven, eight, or ten. How many films have there been in the official Fast and the oh, Furious film franchise? Excellent. This is We're my excluding kind of the question. Hobbs and Shaw spin-off and the two shorts, okay? That's my kind of question. The Hobbs and Shaw spin-off, two shorts, no. Main films, how many? Seven, eight, or ten? The When you say main films... Yeah. Mm, does that the include... official Fast and Furious film franchise. Okay, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... I have their answer. Um... Okay. And can I say that... They're split. They've had a, a variety of different answers, yes. Fast and the Furious. Fast and the Fast Furious. And the Furious Tokyo Seven, Drift. eight, or ten. Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Fast and the Furious 2. Fast and the Furious 2. Fast and the Furious the fast, Turgid. Fast... <laughs> Sorry. Fast, fast 8. My own personal opinion, but hey. So, do, the, do it again. Seven, eight, or ten. Seven, eight, or ten. 10. You're going with 10. It's easy. Yeah. 
It's been at least. Uh, well, eight. you're going with ten. And there's, there's and, one after uh, eight. And the chat stream, their first three answers were seven, and the answer is eight. So you're still tied, but uh, yes, you finally got one wrong. No. Good. All of you are human. That's good. That's they deserving. eventually got around to a nice sequence of eights, but uh, the first couple were sevens. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. It's uh, three points apiece going into question number five, halfway through this quiz today. Listen carefully. It's at Whistler in Canada, and it's the fastest over 100 kilometers per hour and the longest over two kilometers in all of North America. What is it? Um, it's at Whistler in Canada. It's the fastest at over 100 kilometers per hour and longest over two kilometers in all of North America. What is it? I'm really sorry about this. I'm so sorry. I've got, I've, I've got their answer. But I do need you to repeat that again for me. <laughs> I was okay. distracting myself with a little guess that we've got coming up. And... <laughs> Okay. I've been Understandable. We've it's got, at we've Whistler, got, California. Got okay. Sorry, go on, one more time. You know, put your lips together and blow. I'm so it's sorry. It's at Whistler, California, uh, yeah. Canada. Sorry, excuse me. Music Whistler in Canada. And it's the fastest and longest in all of North America. Over 100 kilometers per hour and over two kilometers long. What is it? I have their answer. The Whistler, Canada. The Whistler what? I can't know what... what, what. <laughs> So sorry, I, I am listening, but um, I can't understand it. I'm, I'm, I've been going for three I'm, I'm just saying it, it is it is located at Whistler in Canada. In Canada. This is actually okay. a thing, and I've got to and tell you what the, thing it's is. And it's the fastest and longest in all of North America. What is it? Fastest and longest. Yeah. In Whistler. Mm. In all of North America. Fastest and longest... Train? A train. No. A train is, is a good answer. What did they get? Did they get it? <laughs> they, they, they said uh, that it was a ski slope. Oh. Uh, but sadly, you're, you're both wrong again. It's a zip line. Zip oh, wire. Gosh. Fastest and longest in all of North that was America. That's a hard question. Thank you. There, good, well good. Well, yeah. you got the first three right. Now now it's still 3-3 three, three going into question number right. six. And I promise now, everybody in the chat that I'm going to listen and be attentive now. I'm so sorry I've been distracted. Yes, listen, be attentive. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go underwater, okay? Now, some fish travel at speeds even faster than land mammals. Mm -hmm. The tiger shark and the blue fin tuna are in the top ten swimmers. But I'd like you to name either one of the top two Ooh. underwater speedsters. Ooh. Okay. The two fastest fish. Name either one. So you've got the ones that you mentioned were the... The ones that I mentioned were the uh, the bluefinned tuna. Bluefin okay. Tuna. And uh, the tiger shark. Tiger. They're both pretty fast. They're in the top ten, but not as good as these. Okay. I have their answer. The ha, the the ha, uh, the uh, like ham, the 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 shark, the shark, the shark, shark. We've had the ti we've had the tiger shark. <laughs> God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, I've got shark. no idea. Yes. Give me just I don't know. I right now I'm in the kind of food where I can't even think of a of a of another fish. I just can't even think of another fish type. Got my in my head I'm just going goldfish. Goldfish. Got, it must be a goldfish, right? It's a goldfish. It's not a goldfish, is it? Is it a let me think about this, a dolphin. A um uh, uh um but I can't think of any a bottlenose dolphin. There you go. A bottlenose dolphin. Yeah. You're back in the you're back in the land of of, of mammals, but uh, that's okay. Um, what? what it boils down to, their first well, they, their first three answers included two sailfish and a marlin, uh, 
And Jesus. the speed's up to 120 kilometers per hour. It is the marlin no. and the sailfish. Oh, how did they yeah. get that? Who, who hey, got that? Tell me who got they're, that. They're fast. They're Tell fast. me who got that. I need to have a word. Uh, you. you can check it later, yes. Uh, have a word. Look, let me check now. Let's check now. As, wow, that's really fast. Ed is broken. I really am. I'm so sorry, Ben Kai. I'm so tired this week. I mean, honestly, I cannot express to you how tired I've been. Uh, who said it was Marlin? Marlin, come on, Ben Kai got it right. Uh, Ed's two brain cells falling out. Thanks, Mace DK. You, you know me. You know me. Uh, wow. Somebody else crashed the train as well from earlier. Uh, just calling, I'm definitely a painter. Selfish. Selfish and a Marlin. Jack Static and Commander Benkai. Well done. I trust you both. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you. And hello, by the way. Hi, hi, Percat. Hi, Percat. Hey, Percat. Uh, and congrats on latitude. Thank you very much, Shadnas. That's very very kind, by the way. Uh, okay, Google, just before you ask the question. Oh, don't be cheating. We'll know if you're cheating with cheating radar. Sorry. We've got a few more questions to go. We're only 10 minutes away from the biscuit review. We need to get ready. We need to get finished. We need to get done. All right. Are you ready? Okay. okay. You're ready. behind. It is, it is four points to three in favor of the chatters. And it's question number seven. Okay. Number seven is simple 50-50. It's true or false. I'll read out a little statement. If you agree with it, Write down the entire word true. If you disagreed, well, then write down the entire word false. Okay. Here we go. If you buy a pint at closing time in Scotland, you have to be pretty fast. Although there is no legally defined drinking up time in England and Wales, it's still 15 minutes in Scotland. Right. Is that true or false? We're saying if you buy a pint at closing time in Scotland, you have to be pretty fast. Although there's no legally defined drinking up time in England and Wales, it's still 15 minutes in Scotland. True or false? Uh, false. Oh, wait, I've got to wait for their answer. False. I've got to wait for their answer. I have the answer. False. You can drink whatever you like in Scotland. You can drink whatever you like. Their first answer was true, but then they had two falses, so they agree with you that it's false. It is true, though. It's what? absolute true. Who's there's that? still on the books, a 15 minute drinking up time thing uh, as far as Scotland is concerned. I don't think they really enforce it too carefully, but uh, no. yeah. I very much doubt that. I doubt that. Every one, of, doubt, my, doubt, every one yeah. of my impressions is Scottish. I'd like to hear Go on, go for it. Och, I the new. Och, yes. I the okay, new, that's, exactly. That's it. it. This is bon Bonnie Scotland. How okay. come you don't hey. do impressions? Uh, because they're pretty poor. I think okay. your impressions are all just general impressions in general are poor. Oh, no, no, mine, mine are poor. Your mine are poor. There's some very good impressions. Uh, you sometimes do a very good one of me as a quiz master Round when I used to do the, uh, the quizzes. Yes. Round number You had one. the mannerisms, you had everything, yes. I have the mannerisms, I have everything. Yes. And, well, if I had glass... Oh my god, I've lost it. Round number one in this quiz all about uh, whales. What whale. is the first whale in Wales? Where are the whales? It, w H. It is different. <laughs> I know. It's good. What? 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 Yes. When, okay. Where? Why? Okay. Whom? Whom? Whip. <laughs> Sorry, there's no H in the hip. All right. Next question. Cool whip. Cool yeah, whip. Cool whip. It's yes. a good. It's a, it's a. It's a good reference. Next question, please. I'm so sorry for this quiz. I'm... You're behind. You're, 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 what? When did I get behind? To the, one to the detriment. You, you, it's four points oh, to three. You, you are behind, and we're on question number eight. Well done. Okay. Everybody. Listen carefully. The 1950s voiceover at the beginning of the television program was faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single band, bound. Who did actor George Reeve play. 1950s voiceover at the beginning of the television program was faster than a speeding bullet, more powerful than a locomotive, able to leap tall buildings in a single bound. Who did actor George Reeves play? I know the answer and I have it upon my brain. I have their answer. Million Dollar Man? The Million Dollar Man is absolutely incorrect. Wait, oh no it's wait. Superman. Oh. Superman! Oh, yes. No, no relation to Christopher Reeve, obviously, who 
played him much later. But uh, yeah, 1950s television program. It was excellent. It was the it was the Superman that I was brought up on. Someone who could sort of uh, actually show a little bit of uh, I don't know um, that's effort that's in made, bending bars and things like that. It made me sad that I didn't know that. Why didn't uh, well, I, I got that wrong? I, I think my first initial thought was Superman, and then. I don't know what happened, really. It just all sort of... <sighs> yeah, he was just, he was they, just they're, now, they're now two ahead, are they? They're now two ahead, and you have two questions left. So you can catch up, uh, possibly, or you can just flounder and go down in defeat. Flounder and go down in defeat. I think that's the best way, isn't it? That's okay. Question number nine, then. The ultimate question in today's quiz. If you listen, this is this is a tenuous link question. It's all about fastest things. If you listen to the shipping forecast, you'll be familiar with Fastnet. It's a small rocky island that gives its name to one of the shipping areas around Britain. What I want to know, is it a part of Scotland, Ireland, Wales, or England? Um. Shipping forecast, Fastnet. Small rocky island, it's given its name to one of the... Um, Shipping areas? Is it a part of Scotland, Ireland, Wales, or England? Wales. They're not making. They're not making guesses yet. Oh. Ah, uh, here. Hang on. We've started. Okay. I have their answer. Wales. You're saying Wales? Yes. They said Scotland. Oh no. Uh, Thought there was a sort of a, a sub theme in here, you know, uh, ah, sort Scottish. of running through the whole thing, a, a motif um, with the Scottish. But you are both wrong. Ah. It's the southernmost tip of Ireland. Well, yeah, that's net. Oh, wow. Rocky little thing down I there. Something new every day. I'm not. I'm not. I won't remember any of these answers. I feel tired. <laughs> Uh, but thank you so much. You've, you've, you've been a wonderful quiz master today. How, have we got one more question left? We've got one more question. One oh, more question. Sorry, yes. Okay. Ahead. Question number ten. I'm ready. Feeling ready. Are you ready? Okay. You're, you're, you you can't possibly win, but that's okay. You I can know. get one well, back. It's taking part that counts. Uh, I didn't say I wasn't doing any fighting talk. When it, earlier when, earlier when I was like I'm gonna win, it was fighting yeah, talk. Yeah. It mattered. Right now, now that it's now that you know, I just feel I just feel good to be here. Just feel good to be here. Good to be here. Thank okay. You for being here. Multiple guests to go out with here. Yes. Question number 10. The world's longest recorded and medically supervised fast. How long did it last? Ooh. The subject consumed water and, it, and took vitamin, potassium, and sodium supplements, but no food. Okay, here are your choices. Was it 84 days, 276 days, or 382 days? Ooh. And the subject ate what, sorry? Um, he was allowed water and vitamin, potassium, sodium uh, supplements, but no food at all. Gosh. The longest recorded medically supervised fast was 84 days, 276 days, or 382 days. I can't, I can't believe that it would be any that long. I, I think that it's 84 days. It can't be any longer than 100 days. That's... You can't go that long without eating. 84 days. It's, it's I'll a tell you, long time. I will tell you, he lost 276 what pounds. What did he start off at? <laughs> uh, very, very big, yes. Okay, so he took um, a large man and did this with a large, large I, man. I, I think he was like over 400 pounds or whatever. So 400 pounds, uh, sorry, in kilograms or, or he, even stone. In, in, in pounds, so uh, it's a lot. I mean, supervised by, I, I think, some Scottish university or whatever, so it's it's medically on the record. Right. Um, their first guess was 382, but then we had a couple of 276s. Yeah. So they're actually going for 276. Um, you're going for 84. Button. And it was actually 382 Whoa. days. Back in the early 70s. Wow. It was. Gosh. He was a big guy. Ended up still a big guy, but um, yeah, needed some sort of still a big guy at the end. Tell me, well, he, he was over two hundred pounds at the end, oh, gosh, but guy. he lost two hundred seventy-six pounds. Oh my gosh! Um, he had to had to do it, I think, to stay alive. Yeah. Okay, man loses how much? Two hundred seventy-six pounds. Two hundred seventy-six pounds. Here we go. That's In three hundred eighty-two days. Oh my gosh! <laughs> my gosh, that's an incredible achievement.
Well, yeah. Oh my gosh! Well done to him. All with a fast, you see. Another tenuous connection with our our, fasting, our quiz round. Fasting, I fasting, see. Fasting. And also, he lost it quickly too, didn't he? So I was doing a quick quick fact check on the internet. I, not that I didn't trust you. But hey, everyone. Hey, chat. Everyone's back in the chat. Pillbox UK, the Honey Thief, Jack Little, Mace DK, Percat259, Jack Little, the Honey Thief, I'm coming in Bankai. Congratulations. And Muzipan. All of you, congratulations for taking part in um, in that and, and being, being part of the quiz. You're all absolutely brilliant. And I, I love each and every single one of you. Hi. Hi, Not Bivol. Hi there. Hey, James Stan. James Stan's here. Hello, James Stan. Thank you so much for joining here for today's Biz Quiz. You just missed the Biz Quiz, but you are here in time for today's Biscuit Review. We do have a guest coming on, and of course we have Biscuits sent in from somebody lovely in the community. Ooh, I think you're here in the chat. Hello. So um, this is a spoiler about what Biscuits are coming, but they're in a fancy box. Could that be an indication of their quality? Let's find out. These are Maltese Biscuits. Anyway, before we do that, we must, of course, well, first of all, let's say a huge, huge thank you to the one and only WNL. Thank you so much, WNL, for gracing us with your presence today. Uh, Always I'm, my pleasure. I'm very busy until Sunday, but I promise you that I'll call you on Sunday. Uh, of course, certainly. And before we go, though, there's one more thing that we need to do. Two more things. We need to pick next picks picks. We need to pick next week's quiz topic. So everybody in the chat, what is what are some suggestions for next week's quiz? We should do one on the football at some point. We should do one on the football at some point. I don't know. You would definitely lose that though, wouldn't you? Because you have no interest. Uh, well, excuse me. You say that almost with almost scathingly, almost like you're annoyed that you failed me. <laughs> well, you failed it, as, to, as, to, as to, a zealot, uh, as a football zealot, yes, exactly. you know, well, I, you I would failed be miserably. Very good at that. Well, if it was World Cup themed, then it would make sense. World Cup. Let's do a World Cup theme. Okay. Uh, Fine with me. So, because the people throughout have said, let's do a quiz. Ed Childhood, of course, is a good one. Dinosaurs is a good one. Uh, football quiz. Yeah, more than more than one person has said, let's do a, a football quiz. Jack Little wants Twin Peaks. That's a good one, but that's for the future. I think the, the work of... Um, the work of... Uh, oh gosh, what's his name? The director. Why, have I, why am I banking on this today? Uh, David... David, David, um, David, why can't I remember? Come on, you can do it. No. Lynch. Yeah, they got it. Good day, everyone. Good day, DJ, uh, DJ Truthsayer. Hello there. Thank you so much for coming. Famous people called Chris. That's a good round. And that's for another time. But next week, we'll do on football. Pillbox says, go to bed, Ed. Now, look, I am going to go to bed eventually. But tonight, I have to go down to London. I'm doing a suit fitting for my friend's wedding. And I'm going to go. We've got to go and do suit fitting tomorrow morning. So we're all going out for dinner with the groomsmen tonight, which is going to be interesting. Uh, but then, but yeah. Oh, wait, sorry. We've got things to do. So do you have... Uh, a, a, a literature of choice today from your shelf. What's on Walter's shelf this week? What's your suggestion? I do, actually. I've got a, just a very good collection. Um, poem was published in 1807 um, by Ooh. Mr. William Wordsworth. Wow. And they're all poems by him. Is there a short one there? Oh, there's, there's, there's all sorts of, of, of things here. Um, very quiet on the surface is poems, but underneath lots of good fire. Uh, a very interesting writer. Uh, born in Cockermouth, you can go visit his, his house, the school, um, all sorts of places. Um, eh, go to Grasmere and see his, his grave. Um, but read the poetry. Read his poetry. Nice, nicely romantic. Oh, just like you. <laughs> Large R, not 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 romantic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, <laughs> nicely romantic with a capital R, uppercase. Well, well, thank you so much for uh, joining us today and being on the Bisquiz as usual. You'll be back next week. Oh, if if I've recovered and actually woken up and not I'm not just going mad. But yes, everybody else. Well, all thank right. you first of all. If we could all wish Walter Lewis the finest of weekends and to a swift recovery for his uh, ailment, sore knee. If we can all wish uh, wish you a speedy recovery and and send positive vibes, thank and those you. positive vibes will mean that you float away into the distance and you become nothing more than just static. But of course only for a little bit and, and he actually still carries on existing thanks thanks bye um he still he still uh he still obviously exists uh outside of the television screen of course 
uh, but he'll be back. And there's all the positive vibes coming through. Thank you so much. Right, and in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, of course, turn up this music so you can hear it nice and clear and nice and loud. I'm going to press the mute button on my camera. <laughs> Sorry, that's not way it starts here. It's 13.48 on Friday the 22nd of June. The most wonderful of days uh, and the most wonderful of times. And I'm joined in the pub by the one and only... Oh, we need a... Oh, hang oh, on. on. You want to make a football behind your head. There you go. Oh, there we go. That's better. Dylan. Hello. Vadimatu, Dylan. Vadimatu? Never been called that before. <laughs> Never been called that before. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I got it right on the official stream. Where we should have Unbelievable, beers. Unbelievable, he says. <laughs> we should have beers. Oh, we should have beers. We've got cups of tea. Yeah, that's good. Peter. Peter. Bring us a beer. He's just never here anymore. He's never around. I, I saw him once the other day. Well, so once, once, once. The other, yeah, once. The other day. The other day. And he was just uh, dressed um, in, hello, <laughs> see if he was girl. See, this is the thing. I can't do two things at once. Exactly. Right. Continue to talk about Peter. Um, he, uh, he was dressed. As a um, as a, gl a gladiatorial knight, <laughs> and, and I was like, "What are you doing, Pete?" And he said, "Don't call me Pete." Yeah, he doesn't call me like Peter. Pete. He doesn't like Pete. Yeah. And um, and uh, he was just like, "Well, I'm just going down to get some uh, get some milk from the cart. Mm -hmm. Like, can I come with you?" And he said, "Absolutely not." And then walked off. <laughs> yeah, he's a piece of work, that guy. He's, he's an real, absolute. He's a real piece of work, that a, guy. Yeah, he is. He's a. C word. Uh, he's, oh, sorry. Everybody in the chat. It's not right. uh, Everybody in the chat, say hello to Dylan. Dylan and uh, Vadamutu, uh, not Vadamatu. No. I wonder where that came from. I was called by my PE teacher. It's called Vadatoma Vadamato, and I was like Vadatomato. Vadatomato. <laughs> terrible. Yeah, it is so a hard weird. name to say, though, isn't it? It is very. It is quite hard. Yeah. It's not. At all. It's not. It's phonetic. <laughs> it's phonetic. It's really easy. Uh, so hello, Dylan. Dylan is a sound designer at, at uh, Frontier Developments, and he's such a lovely dude. Um, a lovely man, as people are saying in the chat. That's and, so lovely. Uh, what do you think of biscuits? Uh, I am a, a huge fan of biscuits. How how huge? Uh, t uh, well, no, give, give me uh, give me a Hi. Uh, uh, a, a scale. Well, well, I can then... tell you. Well, I can tell you on the off yeah. my uh, sort of my biscuiting life, yeah, if you want. On. So my favorite. My, so my top three top three biscuits are are as follows: <laughs> Gary Baldy's. Gary Baldy's. Yeah. Um, uh, fig rolls and ch uh, chocolate hobnobs. Fig roll is a biscuit because mm -hmm. uh, that's the first thing that people say. Thank you very much for the awesome side of JW. It's nice. Um, so yeah, I've got a top three already. Um, Go on. Looks like Dylan could rip a television in half. That's I probably could, yeah. Because he's hench. Yeah. A television. Um, <laughs> just anyway, a television. We've, trans we've been transported to the biscuit room. Yeah. Can you see on the screen? What do you think? Oh yeah. Yeah, and we're in the oh, biscuit I noticed. room. The lovely biscuit <laughs> wallpaper behind us. It's cool. It's very realistic. I love it. I should make a biscuit room, shouldn't I? I'll yeah, you for the do. background. Does anyone want to? No, make... I quite like this though. I, um, I think we need to upgrade it, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think, ladies and gentlemen, friends, of us upgrading the biscuit, the the, the biscuit room? I think that even though it's, I like how basic it is. Can somebody mm. do me a drawing? Don't, don't smash the TV, that's where my dad lives. Oh, look at the TV. What? That's where my dad lives in there. Oh yeah, no, I can't smash that TV. Yeah, that's can't. where your dad lives. What, we need like a like a, a, a room like the pub, but somebody needs to, I need to, it needs to be drawn because it needs to be bespoke. That's an awesome idea. Bespoke. Should definitely bespoke. do that. So, have you seen the Biscuit Review before, Dylan? I have, um, a couple of times. Oh, have you really? Yeah, I have, yeah, yeah. Oh. I, I saw, uh, I've seen uh, ones with Zach. 
Uh, Will, mm -hmm. which is mm -hmm. quite regular, isn't it? And uh, Ross as well, that's quite Ross, funny. Yeah, okay, funny. so we're missing one thing, uh, and I'm looking for it now. We've got our biscuits here, we've got our cups of tea for the Dunkin', but we're missing... I found it! It's the official biscuit tasting Oh, okay, cool! So at the top we have the name, the appearance, the taste, the texture, the durability, the dunkability, the post-dunk taste, the satisfaction, and the Mauritius, and then we have a total at the end, of course. Okay. In first place, currently, with the Popsy Marzipan Biscuits by Sarah, the homemade stamp homemade. on there. But in, this first, in second place, we have the White Chocolate Caramel Kirkus, all the way over from Holland. Oh, then right. we have, in fourth place, or third place, the Marabou Chocolate Moments. They were disqualified for being a chocolate bar, of course. That's why they're red. But in... Stop! Okay. In 68th place, we have Trader Joe's Shooting Stars. Ooh. In 87th place, we have the Girl Scout Cookies. We have the Tagalongs. Very, very good. In 115th place, another Girl Scout Cookie coming in with the Rah Rah Raisins. <laughs> oh, excellent. Da, 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 da. Then we have, in 135th place, the Asda Custard Creams. Mm. Classics. In 151st place, the Milka Sensations. In 153rd, the Penny Mini Double Kex Hazelnuss. And then finally, in the very bottom place, CBL oh. Munchie Lemon. Lemon puffs. I would have already said that'd be the last one. Because of the name. Lemon yeah. puff. But today. Gonna, it sounds rubbish. On the menu. Today on the menu. Today on the menu. Today on the menu. Today on the menu. That still doesn't miss off. Today on the menu. Today on the menu. Today on the menu. Today on the menu. Down, down. down. We yes. have the... <laughs> sorry, everyone, if that was horrible. And everyone we, next door. The, we have the Savina Crostini Maltese Tea Time Biscuits sent mm. to us by somebody in the chat. Oh, cool. Percat259. Here he is. Thank you, Percat, for sending these in. Awesome. Uh, they're the second Maltese biscuits on the list, and we're going to find out how that they go down. Uh, Latitude phone, they've cancelled my spot. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> I'm so uh, sorry, I've sorry. ruined that. I'm not part of his band. Mm. His, I'm so proud of you, by the way. Thank you very much. And so, I'm sure, is everyone else in the in the chat. No. That is such an awesome achievement. It man. is pretty Genuinely, incredible. that's incredible. Like, I'm pretty thrilled about it. It's, mm. uh, it's a very personal achievement for me, something I've been playing bands for 15 to, 15 to 20 years at this point. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I'm going to play it's a festival, amazing. like yeah. a, a large UK but festival. For, for BBC Introducing. For BBC Introducing as well, yeah, which is... It's such a prestigious thing to do. It is. And vignette are awesome. Yeah, fantastic. You. Are you a drummer? No. <laughs> I'm a guitarist and I spent many years trying to get on the festival circuit. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I got on there. And you got on there, like that. <laughs> right. Thank you so much, Zookeepers Girl, and thank you everybody for saying lovely things. It's very kind. So, the Savina Crostini Maltese Tea Time Biscuits. The packaging, what do you think of the packaging? Fantastic. The old, well, Love unfortunately, it. there's no points of packaging in this game. Okay, well, that's all right. So, let's Was it out. easy to open? Yeah. Okay, good. They look good. Well, uh, do we have any idea where they're from? Yeah, Maltese. Right, okay. So, Malta. Right. Uh, look at this. It's got a little booklet in it. Like, that's wild. At the turn of the 20th century, Piazza Savina in Rabat was not just the geographic heart of Gozo, it was also the centre of everyday trading. Every day. The market oh, provided really everything okay. from yes, from delicious I've started so I'll finish. Okay. From delicious fish produced cheeses and wines to crafts, fishing nets and woven attire. The Magro brothers were already renowned provision merchants, and their offices were set right in the hub of this trade. The Magro are they a bit like the craze? Oh my gosh, there's so much here. We promise to excel in the creation of innovative and customised gifts that offer pleasure to our worldwide customers. Draw this, they're hyping these biscuits <laughs> up. These biscuits are hyped. They could have just said right they're now. well nice. They're, they're all right. <laughs> Milestones. <laughs> so Amazing. Our first ten years. <laughs> Oh Our gosh. first ten years. Savina wraps was a definite art. Paul, further his education. Sun-dried tomatoes. No. no that's oh no, this irrelevant. is not to do with the biscuits. Oh, it's just the company. Oh, I need to stop drinking my tea. Why? Because then we need to you'll dip get, it. You'll get, you'll get full. We do need to dunk it. It's called a dunk, not a dip. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Savina, let's let's type it in. We're, we're, we're taking too long with this already. Savina, what are they called again? Crostini. Crostini. Maltese tea time biscuits. Give me space. I mean, <laughs> you're touching on a sort of When we were doing the live stream the other day, and I was like, you're like, come closer, come closer. <laughs> That's my impression. Come closer. Come closer. And I was like, yeah, sure. It's so, <laughs> so horrible. No, it's not. I don't mind it. It's horrible for some people, if you're uncomfortable with it. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm quite comfortable. A dip is entirely different, not that I know. Ed is always impressed by the packaging, it's rigged. No, I'm not impressed by the packaging. There's right. no points for packaging. No. I go complete I'm if anything, I find it I find it it, it almost um, 
impresses, imposes too much of itself upon me. Mm. <laughs> and I'm like, no. I think it's almost too sure of itself. Uh, it, well, insists, yeah. it insists, it insists upon far itself. Too sure. It's like a, it's a gift, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, a, a paper bag is is something, but that is a, is a completely a whole new different league, isn't it? Single use plastic. Box well. smell good. Yeah, very good, very it's good, very Mace. Good, yeah. Let's pop that there. <laughs> the blindfold test. Do you want it anywhere in particular? Or? I think packaging should be valued. Yeah, I mean, look, there's there's talk of that amongst the community, but we've got this far without doing it, so we'd have to reevaluate every every single biscuit. You put it in a gift shop. Thank you so Perfect. much. Perfect. Ooh, That's so lovely. It's not good, man. Oh, this one's so good. It's grab one. Grab well, well, yeah, thank you very much. Well, so, multi. The first thing, the first, the first thing to test is multi. Yeah. <laughs> You're just getting confused by the word malt. <laughs> the first thing to test is the appearance. What do you think of the appearance of these biscuits? Unfortunately, I don't have the um, biscuit cam with me right now. I can try and hold it up as close as I can possible to the camera. Biscotti like. Yeah, it's. It so it's has very influences rustic, of Italian. It has a rustic Italian feel to yeah. it. It's got a good colour to it. It looks like a piece of bread a little bit. Nice sturdy split there. Yeah. What do you think about the appearance between ten, 1 and 10? I think it's pretty solid. I think it's... Think it looks uh, good. I think it's, a, I, think it's a, I think it's a 7. I think it looks good. And yeah. it's a good. So Why oh, do you like it? What do you like about it? I like it because it's not got any fancy little bits in it. It's yes. not like it's it looks not a pretentious. It's, it looks very rustic and very homemade. Looks like what you would, what would come out of a gift. Mm. Does that make any sense? Is, this a, is that a rubbish I'm answer? I'm going for six point five. All right. Because I don't think it's a seven. I think it's a six. Okay. I think it's a five even. Put it put it at six then. Mm. Yeah, because overruled. Between. Yeah, no, it's in between. All right. I'm five or yeah, seven. Yeah, yeah. I like it. It looks like it'll soak up all your tea. We'll find out. Taste, arguably the most important Dude, part. What did it taste like? <laughs> I thought it was fine. It's very synthetic. <laughs> you ready? Sorry, yeah. Up, wait. Yeah. Crumb, crummies. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> you like it? Mm hmm. It's almost got a. Um, wait, what's mm. the word I'm looking for? Aniseed taste to it. Mmm. It is quite anti, but that's the that's the immediate time. Mm. Is that weird? Do you know? Yeah, fennel. It is. Yeah, fennel. Great crunch. Yeah. Is that right? Well, that's the aniseed stuff. But, um, I think. Have I? I'm really messing up this. How does the? How we've does got, the microphone got, work? We've got to go back to work in a minute. Okay. I've got to make some. The sounds. Um, that is, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I you like it. it. I really like it because it's not. But you're you, a liker of things. You're like the opposite of Will. I really just, Will just hate everything. Will the hater. I love it. I think it's really. I think it's a really good tea time biscuit. It's per, it, It's basically what it says on the tin. A bit like Ronsil. Hmm. I think it is good. I, you don't. You're not too keen on it. Are you? Are you? I think I'm. <laughs> nah. Oh, taken. <laughs> it's good. It's it's great. No one's ever done that before. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, sorry. <laughs> I think you're fine. No, you need no to put. Sorry, yeah. no, no one's ever uh, touched my keep. The keep the. No one's ever touched the spreadsheet for than me. Um, <laughs> all, right, all right, texture. I did, it was very crunchy. Very crunchy. And it sounded. I think it sounded drier and more crunchy mm. than actually it did. It tasted. It's yeah. The sound of it was like crack, bang, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. teeth hurting, gums jabbing in your face. Didn't not like that at I all. Didn't have that experience at all. Yeah, it was actually quite soft on the when once it was mixed with your saliva. Yes, it was quite soft and it yeah. wasn't awful. The texture was quite good. It was a very satisfying, crunchy biscuit. Yeah, like I, a Maltese. I like that. Eight. Yeah, awesome. It's nothing to do with Maltesers. It is. Is that's that what, what it's it is? Malt yeah, but it's malt. It's Maltese. It's Maltese, but that's the name of the place. Malta. Yeah, but, but it's a play on words. They're very clever. <laughs> oh, they're like Malteser. Yeah. <laughs> the Maltesers from Malta, Malta. Well, yeah, Maltesers from Malta. No, they're, they're actually not. Malta. not. No, they're not, they're not. But it would be cool, wouldn't it, if it was just a massive pun? Yeah. Okay. No, no relation like to Maltesers. I feel like so I'm, like I'm ent ent entertaining myself. You are entertaining yourself. Is anybody else entertained? It doesn't matter. Check your Probably legs. Not. Look at my legs right now. Cut oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I've already done very, the white. It's very crummy, isn't it? Yeah, it's very, it's, it is. Oh, it's called covering a lot of ground. There's just, oh gosh, there's everywhere. It's crummy everywhere. everywhere. Durability, I'm going to go for a... Oh, it's got to be it's low. low. It's like it's a, a th it's two, even. It's a two? Yeah, I'm going, for, yeah I'm going for two, It's yeah. everywhere. I had to do that. I had to initi yeah. initiate yeah, the like, hand ah. underneath first. Yeah, oh, it fell To apart. be your monk, Dylan. Yeah. Not, to, not today. Tonight, maybe. Look at those thin head legs. <laughs> <laughs> Dunkability. Oh, everyone's favourite right. part. Right, you'll need a fresh one. Okay. Um, like full, full yeah, size, full yeah. Full size one, yeah. You need to. Okay, with kids. Okay, so the rules are: you dunk it in, you hold it for three seconds, okay, and you reveal it to the to the people watching at home. You ready? And one, two, three. Show to the camera. Oh, that's. Is it going to survive a double dunk? Do you think? Yes. One, two, three, and reveal. <laughs> I think it's got a triple. Look at that. It's not. Oh, definitely a triple. One, two, three. Oh no, it's getting soft. Is it getting softer? <laughs> yeah. Is it though? Don't gif that. I... <laughs> Are you ready? I'm gonna dunk it. I'm gonna see how hold it holds for. Are you joking? I'm just gonna see how long it holds for. I want to drink this tea. Look, that's not. Even, that's not flinching. It's not even. That's. Not... Oh no, it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> splash down. Mine's fine. Whoa. Absolutely fine. Okay, hold on. One, so much time. I'm gonna eat two, it. Two. Is that weird? Three. Ooh. Mmm. 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 Doesn't deter from the taste whatsoever. If anything, it enhances it. You know when it splashed into there, mm. it splashed onto my face. Mm. Was it nice? It was, um... I'm going to put that there. It was life-changing. <laughs> right, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> life-changing. Oh. We should let them know. <laughs> but, Faithra says, is the three seconds the internationally agreed standard dunk time? That's correct, Faithra. Well done, you picked up on the... Yeah. The internationally agreed standard dunk time is one, two... You've got to do a little bob. Oh, the I one, IASD? Two, three, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Faithra, for, for pointing that out. Hello, by the way. Um, and thank you for joining us. Um, all right, how do you feel? Are we... It, 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 felt, didn't, it didn't last a, a quadruple dunk. It, did, it didn't. So it gets mm. about... But it was a lot. It gets an eight. Do you know what? I felt very manly. Dunking it several times. Honestly, yeah. That's not weird, is it? It is really it's not weird. We it's not weird things it's to say, really is it? It's not weird thing to say, is it? It's a really I'm not a very masculine to person despite my complexity, but it's quite it was quite I felt quite empowered. Your complexity. Yeah, because I'm well, com quite big, aren't I? Your complexity. Yeah, is that what com com what's the word? <laughs> Don't worry. Are you yeah. talking about your composure? No, because people think, oh, well, you're quite big, you can't, you know, express your manliness. <laughs> right. But when I'm dunking one of these biscuits. I am. So, post dunk taste. How did you feel about the post dunk taste? Delicious. The same, the same as when I was mm. tasting it before. So I'm still going to go for a seven point seven point five. You thought it was exactly the same? Yeah. I thought it was actually slightly improved. So I'm going to go for seven point seven. <laughs> awesome. Satisfaction. Throw science to the wind. Or everything else has been a very scientific explanation of how things have gone. Right. But what does? Um, what do you? What do you think? What do you think of satisfaction? Satisfaction. Hmm. How satisfied are you overall? How do you, how do you feel? I'm satisfied enough that I don't want another biscuit. Oh well, that goes into into moreishness afterwards. Okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a solid six and a half. Oh, me too. That's yeah? a nice that's a nice score. What's awesome. a nice score? And then moreishness. How much would you want another one? Like how much do you? I know that you said like you don't want another one, but how how, yeah. how do you how do you want? If um, you offered one to me tomorrow, I'd totally you'd take want it. One. Yeah, I'd want yeah, one. Yeah, I I'd think be like, I could yeah, grab yeah, more now. I'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah I probably could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's a good. Strong eight. Yeah. Yeah. Solid. A solid biscuit. Love solid it. biscuit. Thank you. Very, very solid. Right, Does let's this do the maths score. for you. It does the maths for me. Awesome. I have to. Oh, 53.7. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. So oh, right, the top okay. is 70.5. Yeah. So let's organise this. And I know that every time I do this, Percat gets upset with <laughs> me for doing it this way. 53.7 puts it in. Everybody. Oh, a tied biscuit. A tied. Wait, was it 53.7? Yeah. No. Because yeah. it? it's disappeared. Oh, no, there it is. That was it. it. That's it, yeah. Uh, 118th place above the coconut ring by Sainsbury's and below Peter's Struster's and above the MS Dutch Shortcake. Can oh, that sounds nice. It? 118th place, because of course number one is this, and I probably should work out how to change that. Uh, 118th place is decent out of 177. Right. It's not in the top half, but it's in the top two thirds. Well done, everybody. Well done. 
Well Thank you done. so much for that. Oh, I loved yeah. it. Did you That's enjoy that? Nice. Maltese, the Maltese Otini is 158. Yeah. So it's better than the Maltese Otini. You see, what we what we like to do uh, per car is to never, uh, we we never, ever, ever, mm. just because they've been sent in from somebody else. I thought that was called Brexit. The real Brexit. The real. It's called Bixit. And oh. I think there were some Brexit jokes made at the time. Oh, excellent. And we and we and we had. Yeah, and we were saying, well, I'd say it's about a 4.9 or 5.1, and yeah, and there were lots of jokes all about that. 5.1s everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And then it was. No, funny how enough, funny. Yeah, no. well, you know. <laughs> but, and it took me to about here before I realised what we were doing. <laughs> it because it was Chris Marsh. <laughs> was and it I, really? Yeah, and awesome. I was like, God, these things are great. Yeah, we should yeah. do more. I should make a YouTube channel and we should do just the, just the biscuit reviews and post all the biscuit reviews up. Yeah, you should do Let's it. Let's start, maybe. Ex I'm a bit, <laughs> it. I'm a bit late for that now, though. Dylan, if you need a certain, certain biscuit, you can check the spreadsheet. Okay, cool. I will. What can I, can I, is this available to view for, for the general public, or is this just, just for this? Uh, just for this. Okay, so I need to I'll record this. I've saved one. it. It's gone. I'm going to turn <laughs> up this music, and we're going back to the pub. All right. All right, we're back in the pub. What's the pub music? Uh, the pub music, you can't hear it, unfortunately. Okay. It goes, it's like elevator music. Awesome. That night is kids here. Hey, that night is kids. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you so much for subscribing. You subscribe for two months in a row, apparently. That's absolutely outrageous. Thank you so much. Any money that I make from this channel will actually be going directly to charity. So thank you very much for anything Lovely. that you put in. Any subscribers, anything like that, we're going to be going to um, a charity that I am the uh, an ambassador for and that is special effect so put it in there if you want if you want um so here okay. we go are you ready i'm gonna have a look here now wait wait oh here we are how many how many have we got how many people are watching <laughs> only 55 did it really yeah what why are you upset about that no i thought it'd be a lot less than that oh really <laughs> yeah 55 people <laughs> Uh, yeah, all right, yeah. Should what I have told my mum about this? Why are you watching this nonsense? <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> ruined everyone's. 55 people are going, what have I just oh, watched? Oh, special, effect, I... special effects streaming now. On on what, what channel? What channel are they streaming on? But one thing that we have to do before we go and raid somebody else, which we'll do in just a second, is... Now I know what a raid is. Is this. Now that you know what a raid is. It's yeah, so because the other day when you were like, nah, I think I'll go for lunch. And I was like, we should be raided by a thousand people, Dylan. And we need to stay on. So you had yeah, yeah, that was totally my bad. I'm so sorry. How do I end up here? It, 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 Christmas it was thousands of people. Absolutely right. Special effect team, thank awesome. you so much, Percat. We will raid them in just a second if you stick around. This was one of the better reviews. Thank you, Toddler from Hell. Yay. Uh, all right, so let's begin with... Uh, we've now got to say goodbye to everybody. Okay. Uh, was that you? Yeah, that's, sorry, that's apologies. That's being like, I'm so sorry. Dylan, you're supposed to be at work now. Let me, um, turn right. that off. Can you see this? Can you read this? Don't worry about yes, that. Yes, I can. Yeah, I'm just turning All that. right, so this is where we say goodbye to everybody and we say thank you so much for coming along to watching all the streams this week. We've done a lot of streams here at Frontier this week. We've done like five days in a row of Jurassic World Evolution. We've done the Biscuit Review. We've done an Elite, Elite Dangerous Evening stream on the Thursday. We've done a Planet Coaster stream on Wednesday as well. It's just been packed and it's going to be packed again next week. We're going to be back with the Biscuit Review again next week and I might even do a little streamy on Sunday from home just to relax on playing some Jurassic World Evolution. Oh, so that's please cool. Please come along. Awesome. Also, at some point, we'll have Dylan on WNL. We'll sort that out for an elite meet at some point in the future. <laughs> so thank you, everybody, so far to 79 James, to A Paper House, to Aria Zone, to Atom Harvest, to Will Bill the Beast, Blind and Score Speed, Bozo Pro, Chris Firefox, Commander Benkai, Commander Pyro Joe, Commander Sumar, Commander Miggles, 314,159, and Commander Root. Thank you so much, too. Cosmo Grog, thank you so much to Darbles Mar, Dead Me Girlfriend? Sure. Uh, DJ Truthsayer, uh, Dota Feeding, Dr. Bo42, D Ditopia, it's closest to my name, Electrical Longboard, <laughs> Electrical Skateboard, Evil Blue Shell, <laughs> yeah, uh, Faith Thrower, awesome, uh, Fibble666, Front of the Development, <laughs> Jack uh, Little, David Raven himself watching, James Stan, oh my god. Hi, James. <laughs> Love you, James. Um, Gene <laughs> Bellow, Jester D, JSB3213, Jets, Lawrence, Mace DK, M Multi 71, McCurtains, M Curtains or McCurtains, whatever you want to call them. Musipan, thank you, Musipan, Mr. Ishijima. Mr. Ishijima. Hi, Mr. Ishijima. Very formal. Mr. I'm Mr. Ishijima. You hmm. must remember Mr. 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 That's Mr. Ishijima. Pillbox UK, Percat 259, Silky Nerd, Ta Taomin, Tamin, Tamin, That Night is Kid, The Honey Thief, Toddle from Hell, VNK, Valsio DRG, and together, Virgo, Virgo Pros, Pros, Wicked, Wicked Willy, Willy, Wolf ZX12, 
XLG47, Jad, Jad Moss, and Zookeeper's Girl. And thank you as well to any moderators that may have been, may or may have not been in the chat here as well. And Raidbug Nogus says Mace DK. Oh boy. Oh gosh, I'm very torn. Um, very torn. I'm very, <laughs> very torn. Uh, Bugnogus is also on, but then also uh, the special effect team are doing a thing. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna raid Bugnogus because I, I don't get the chance to do that often, and I'd like to. So let's 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 raid Bugnogus. But if you haven't already, do check out the special effect team as well. Um, uh, so that is for raid. I think you do four. Do you do four slash raid and then Bugnogus? Bug. I think this is gonna work. Okay. I do not have permission to perform that action. I'm not logged in on my account. I'm not logging in my account, oh, everybody. No. Wait, I can try. Can someone else raid on our, on our behalf? No, I can do it. Okay. I'm upon my okay. telephone device. Right, are we, you have your password in it? Uh, I think so. I do it like this. Because because I don't often raid that many people. Stick around for the raid and say hello to Bognogus for us, please. There we go. And I go to my chat like this. Oh, I wouldn't look at your password. There's no password somewhere. Oh, it's got a one in it. Slash everyone. <laughs> <laughs> It does actually. Oh look, the, the Percats put these things. These are you ready? Things on it. Bog, no, Gus. We are going. Goodbye, everybody. Did it work? Yes. Twenty-three raiders, twenty-seven raiders, thirty-one raiders, thirty-five. All of the best ones are raiding. Have a good day, everybody, and thank you so much, Dylan, for coming on. Will you come Thanks on for the biscuit review in future again? I'd love to. If you loved it, back. thank you very much. <laughs> no, you'll be, you'll, you'll, you will be. You will be. If I ever get invited. The Bye. Password, the password is one, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice now, really. All Cheers, right, guys. we're going to be going over in just a second with thirty-six people. That's very nice, and uh, have a lovely afternoon. Are we done? I think so. Oh, awesome. Did you enjoy that nonsense? Yeah!